Hello. All right, guys. I know it's been a while. <laughs> I think it's been two weeks. But still, uh, there's been times that I have to spend more time with my family going out and doing stuff. And I'm sorry if I can't, <laughs> I couldn't come back earlier. But still, there's a lot of things happening. And although I'm already depressed, my YouTube is gone. The first one. And then now it's almost the day of the dead. And if you're wondering, that's Halloween. And practically here in the Philippines, we we call it Undas, I think. I forgot. But we go to the cemetery to visit our loved ones. So basically, I lost my father and I lost my brother. So I'm feeling more depressed than before. <laughs> but still, I'm fighting against the depression and getting back to you guys. I'm sorry it took me so long to get back, but I'm doing my best. All right, I'm keeping the two-minute rule of... Uh, I should only speak to you guys too much. Don't I don't sh I should bla I should not blabber on. I'm sorry. English is not my first language. Remember, and it's been a while since I've been talking to you guys, so I'm out of practice. And I forgot to introduce my moronic self. This is Buster here again with another reaction video. This is how it feels to play soldier in TF2. I'm being careful with Lazy Purple because he's a little bit conscious about reaction channels reacting to his work. But still, I hope he does not slap me with a cease and desist like someone else. I don't know. Someone was slapped with it all right uh let not let's not stray in too much to two minutes so skip to one minute and 30 40 seconds to start the reaction all right let's get back to it <laughs> all right all right i missed that one i missed that one i was checking my obs if it's recording properly all right let's go <laughs> Well, that's how I feel like whenever I play Call of Duty with a rocket launcher. Believe me. <laughs> Does he have a Tails hat? Where's... there's their soldier. Is this re really a recreation? It seems like a skit to me. Okay, now what's what? Ah, crap. <laughs> it's perfect. Oh man, it is perfect. I'm gonna die. That was a recreation of a game-winning stunt performed by one of the greatest playable characters to ever roam the earth. I'm talking about the Soldier, what? also known as Jane Doe, also known as the Rocket Launcher Shotgun Guy. It goes without saying that TF2's Rocket Launcher okay, is one of the most rewarding and exhilarating oh. of any first-person shooter. Once you really so that's how you do jump, it. You may have trouble holding yourself back. Woo! Look at me go! Oh shit! That is all the bad guys. Hey guys, good news, I found the enemy team. <laughs> Just doing my job. You suck! <laughs> Alright, okay, I learned my lesson. <laughs> Just because I can rocket jump doesn't mean I should. In this clip here, my entire team... Okay, it does a lot of damage if you do it repetitively, but still, that's insane. Alright. This is the class... If there's a pyro, this is the class that I would, I would avoid because, you know, reflect. But still... The, the amount of panic and rocket launching everything, it reminds me of Modern Warfare for me whenever I have the RPG and we're stuck in shipment. The perpetual hell for any multiplayer gamer. Okay. Team is dead. Soldier defends the point. All right, time to play it safe. Or I could do a really You're being tempted fast again. rocket jump. Do not do it. Do not yeah. even think about it. Oh. This is definitely what my team would have wanted me to do. Uh, I can't see shit. <laughs> now, if you were some kind of Europe, that's what you, you get might for have drinking, that I my boy. This game by not being there to defend the final point. Thankfully, like all Americans, I am a direct descendant of George Washington. Flanking the enemy is in my blood. <laughs> really? Soldier. Oh, hello, demo man. I, think, uh, I feel like. Couldn't you see? What? Oh no, demo, demo man. Look. 
Drinking I destroys your brain I'll cells, honest, guys. Probably not the just, play, I'm but just saying. This has a place in competitive TF2. This risky playstyle is what competitive players call the roamer. It's the roamer's job to manage the flanks so that frontline classes such as medic and demo man don't have to worry about it. But if the enemy soldier doesn't do the same thing, well, oh, 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 oh no, this is where the fun begins. That's a creepy smile. Your work is amazing. <laughs> the animations are amazing for me. <laughs> I'm loving now this. We are all sons of bitches. Essentially, soldier's First mobility box. allows them to make plays that the other classes can only dream of. My gosh! The specifics of how fast your rockets travel and how fast they launch enemies. Because one day, you'll be the only one that can make a difference. Soldier! The medic! Okay. I am ready. <laughs> it's a PNG animation. <laughs> How much damage does that thing do? Yeah. I could never get used to them falling apart. I play Overwatch Let and Gore go. is out of it. Of course, with all this rocket jumping around, it would be a shame not to mention a certain playstyle. For the first time, just about half past ten, for the first time, in his story, it's gonna start raining men. What's going on? <laughs> Text it's to raining men. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's raining men. Amen. I'm gonna go is, out. Is Melee one shot? Let myself get I think it is. Absolutely soaking <laughs> Trash talk. It's raining men. Oh. Hallelujah. Yeah. It's raining men. Every I don't want to get a copyright. I'm not gonna sing it. I'm going for the medic. Guys, just hold on. Trust me. Got him! Yes! Oh my no! god! You failed! Yes! Alright, alright. You still Maybe failed. I shouldn't be playing Trollger in competitive lobby. Trollger? But have I mentioned how good rocket jumping is? Might as well call this video how it feels to rocket jump, because that's all it's gonna be about. We're about to lose, but I'm not worried because I know how to jump with rockets. I tell my team, don't worry about it, I'll touch the point and go on to. Okay, so you might die while the creepiness of his face. Trust me, it only happens I'm sorry. Like, uh, 80% of the time. As long as you don't jump, it's any of these guys. Jojo. Right. Now, at Here this point, you may have to use your brain, and I know what you're thinking. But lazy, I am. I only have one brain cell. To avoid doing this one thing, but just watch how easy it is. I stay out of sight until I hear that this heavy unrevs his gun. As soon as I hear that, I tightly air strafe into a wall jump so that enemies like this pyro don't have time to react to me. After all that, I get behind enemy lines, force their medic to use Uber, and die anyway thanks to a slight miscalculation. <laughs> Thankfully, you're not always just engineer. The enemy. Sometimes you've got to hold your ground and show the enemy who owns this point. I have crippling depression. I think I know that voice. I heard it so much before. You know, I used to think that an air shot only mattered if it occurred somewhere in the stratosphere. Unfortunately, I dubs. these situations rarely come up, but there's also so much luck involved in shooting someone that's 30 meters off the ground. 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 What? Give it the program. What? This is America, maggot. Oh, sorry. Let's see. Um. 32.8084 God bless it, American yards off the ground. Amen. <laughs> No, see, I've learned that life as a soldier is about the mini air shots. The oh, air shots that you can practice and hit consistently. You know the course, timing now. I don't know, Jack where Maloney. Rocket jumping soldiers can be found flailing about like plastic bags in the wind. Yo, I can leave in some games, but I, if I'm new to another, it takes me a while. Now, Until I get it. Pyros is its own thing. Every time you find yourself in this situation, you are asking the. Are question, you guys interested in watching me play Overwatch? Airblast. Oh, 
it looks like this one ain't gonna make it folks this one here he's walking right at me and there he goes he's got his power jack out he has no idea what he's doing oh what a shame reflect oh, well this is a gimme folks no you've gotta hit those and this next one looks like a competitive game and this pyro he's going going gone looks like another noob to me noob shit you know you've got to give it to those pyros when they get you they get you <laughs> <laughs> well then let's see uh nope look i know i shouldn't shoot rockets at the pyro mains but i can't help it when i see a pyro i don't see a instinctively class you just rockets. shoot i see a class that can absorb rockets like one two and three. Oh, i love direct hits if only there was a weapon built for this purpose the direct i love hit. using the direct hit rocket launcher it destroys i thought it was for sentries yeah 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 that's it scouts just as fast in fact let me ask you something is your control point infested with disgusting enemy scouts bang bang here's Cry the direct hit be gone just one <laughs> shot from scout be gone nice commercial those pesky household scouts bang bang I love you, Scout Be Gone! <laughs> Go ahead, build a mini sentry, I dare you. Of course, you lose the luxury of That's splash so damage. That's so evil. Without splash damage, I wouldn't be getting kills like these. Ha! You can't hear what ain't there! Soldier, no! Ah. I'm dead! But you know what? Forget labels. <laughs> you might hold cheap and easy splash damage. Instead of going to the wall, trying to hit a the splash I damage is bad. My back, it's hard enough to hit splash damage optimally. After playing enough soldier, you may start to see splash damage differently, among other things. But one thing never changes. Even if you, you miss, you kill. Him. And you will never ever stop improving with it so get out there and put it to good use and while you're at it put some rockets where the sun don't shine soldier do up not your buckle shoot my ass <laughs> <laughs> hello there everyone this video went through many rewrites and re-edits that i wouldn't have but you're amazing at doing it my bro and you are so amazing at, at what you do and i'm subscribed to you and i'm freaking liking every video you make and making sure that i support your channel in any way i can well i hope you guys enjoyed this video more videos will be out soon don't worry more lazy purple will be out and let's talk about this a few times and the annoying thing about the rockets is just that if they can reflect that's the problem you have to you just have to make your mind more analyzing in every time you shoot because if you identify oh pyro don't shoot don't shoot because i always have the nervous tick that every time i see an enemy i just ah! i just spastically shoot anything i got and make sure that i survive as long as i can in overwatch i do that most of the time especially when i'm using farah which is one of the basic nightmares especially if the enemy has a hawkeye with the, in their team that can shoot i basically play anna from time to time and i usually snipe farahs out of the air because sometimes they're predictable but sometimes there are some mains that i cannot hit no matter what but still, using the rocket in direct impact really is a better solution than using splash damage. But to each his own, whatever you do. But I hope you guys enjoy this. And if you're interested in watching me play Overwatch, I will introduce my gaming channel to you guys. It's up to you if you want to subscribe there. But remember, this is Buster here. And I hope you guys enjoy all the content that I make and whatever content. I have, a, I have an archive, which is basically old videos from years ago that i reacted to and it's from my first channel all of them are uh, i tried my best to preserve as many videos i can and some of the videos have been lost forever so i'm gonna remake some of the old videos but those old videos will go over there at the archive channel and if you want to support me there also ah here we go again eh yeah, obs hanged again my gosh but still if you guys are interested you can go over to the archive and support me there by subscribing if you want to. It's really up to you because I'm going to segregate the new content from the oldest of the old content. So you don't have to so you don't have to keep scrolling down over my video uh, tab to look for some videos that you want to watch. So oldest videos are there. 
new videos are here. So remember to sub, like, comment, and... and <laughs> Okay, that's dumb. I forgot. <laughs> it's really been a long time since I've been doing this. Like, comment, and subscribe if you really want to. It's really up to you. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you again very soon. This is Buster here. Thank you guys for all the love and support, and I'll see you again soon, my fellow brothers and sisters.